Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name's Adele and I'm the crochet designer behind Adele Oyan Crochet. I design easy to follow crochet patterns for beginners and more experienced crocheters as well to help people make beautiful clothes and accessories for their babies and children. Today I'll be showing you how to add sleeves onto a crochet cardigan. I'll be following my own pattern for the baby bear hoodie. I've had a few people tell me that they've been having problems adding the sleeves on so I thought I'd just come on and do a quick video to show how I do it. This won't be a full tutorial for the hoodie, just the sleeves, but if you are interested in making the baby bear hoodie I'll add a link in the description to where you can find it. In this video I'll just be demonstrating how I add my sleeves. I already have the body finished so I'll be rejoining my yarn under the arm and working in rounds down to the cuff. Okay, so I have my body already made and I'm going to start adding the sleeves on now. But the first row of the sleeves, my pattern tells me that I need to join the yarn underarm between the second and third stitches of the chain space stitches, which I will just show. The wrong side of the stitch should be facing, which is this way. The inside, the right side of the stitch is on the inside. So I'm going to start my sleeve in between the second and third of the chain space stitches here. So I'm just going to insert my hook in between the second and the third. I'm going to chain two. And then double crochet two together. So to double, double crochet two together, yarn over insert the hook back into the same place as the chains, yarn over, pull through, and then I'm going to yarn over and pull through the first two loops on the hook. Then I'm going to yarn over again, and I'm going to insert my hook in between the first and the second chain space stitches. I'm going to yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, and pull it through the first two loops on the hook, now I have three loops left on my hook. I'm going to yarn over and pull it through all three of them. So that's just made a double crochet two together. Now, the next part of the instruction says to skip the join stitch, which if you can see there, that is where the chain space comes out from the main body. The chain spaces that were worked in row seven for the newborn size, that's where it, it attaches to the body. So I skip that stitch there and then I would work another double crochet, sorry, another double crochet two together into the next two stitches. Okay, so I have double crocheted two together, which is that first one there. I've skipped my join stitch and I've double crocheted another two together. I've now got two stitches. Now I'm going to double crochet in the next 18 stitches. I'm just going to work over my loose end here just to work it in so I have less ends to weave in at the end. Okay, I've done my 18 double crochets. 
And now my instructions tell me to double crochet two together again. So I'm going to double crochet this stitch here and this stitch here. I'm going to double crochet those two together. And then I'm going to skip this stitch here, which again, it's the join stitch where the chain space meets the body. I'm going to skip that stitch and I'm going to double crochet across the next two stitches, double crochet two together across the next two stitches. OK, and then we're back to the beginning. So slip stitch into the top of that first double crochet two together. And that should give me 22 stitches. Now for the rest of the sleeve, it's the same instructions from row two to row seven. So it's chain two, turn, double crochet two together, DC in each stitch around and join with a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch. So for every row from row two until row seven is gonna be the same as this. So chain two, turn, double crochet two together, and then it's just double crochet all the way around back to the beginning. Okay, now I'm back to the beginning again and I'm not going to work into that stitch there even though it looks like the last stitch because if you if you check you can actually see that's the stitch where the uh, initial chain two comes out of so that's not a, a stitch that needs to be worked so if I was to count this I should have 21 stitches on my row two. I'm just going to finish that with a slip stitch. Chain two turn and just do the same thing again for row three so double crochet two together and then i'm going to just double crochet all the way around to the end again and at the end of this row i should have 20 stitches Okay, so I'm back at the end. I've got 20 stitches. I've counted as I was going around. And now I'm just going to, again, leave that stitch because that's not a workable stitch. And then I'm going to just join with a slip stitch. That's the end of row three. So I'm going to do the same thing all the way down to row seven. And you can watch along while I do that. And then I'll, um, I'll come back to you at the end.
So I've just finished row seven and you can see how the sleeve is starting to taper inwards towards the cuff. So with row eight, if I was working a hoodie with contrasting yarn, so this would be the main colour and I would have contrasting yarn on the cuffs, on the button band, um, maybe along the bottom here, then I would change my yarn colour here to work this to work the last two rows. One row of just double crochet across and then the next row of the front post double crochet and the back post double crochet. It just makes it look a little bit neater if you have the last two rows rather than just the last row. But I'm just going to do it in this same colour now just to show you what to do. So the, for the row eight, it's change to contrast in yarn if using, chain two, turn, work double crochet in the stitch at the base of the chain and around. So I'm going to just do that now. And I'm just going to join in the top of that first double crochet. And for the last row, it's chain one, turn, front post double crochet around the first stitch of the previous row, back post double crochet around next stitch of previous row. And then that continues around all the way around the cuff to the end. So I'm not going to go too much into detail on this stitch because I do have um, a photo tutorial on the pattern, but I'll just, just to uh, show you quickly, it's just a double crochet. Instead of working into the top of the stitch like you would normally, it it's actually worked around this post of the previous row. So that's a front post and then the back post will be worked around the back. Okay, so I'll just, I'll just repeat that all the way to the end and then join with a slip stitch at the end. Um, and just on this last stitch, I do like, I like to go around the chain as well. I just think it looks a little bit neater. Join with a slip stitch in the top of the first double crochet. And then bind off. And that's the sleeve done. So I hope that's helped and if you have any other problems or you need me to explain anything else with a, a video I'm happy to do that uh, just let me know.